What is up Shark Army, it's me GameShark and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a simple tutorial on how to add Smappy and mods to your Stardew Valley for the latest version of Stardew Valley that is. For some reason a lot of people are messaging me and commenting on videos asking me to do a video and a new guide on how to get mods for Stardew Valley. I have made some videos on this before but they was kind of old and a lot of things have changed now, new versions have came out etc, multiplayer. So now I'm going to go through an update version, a guide, tutorial on how to add mods to your game. Now before we get into it, the first thing you need to understand is you can only mod Stardew Valley for the PC on Steam. Mods will not work for consoles such as Switch, Xbox and PlayStation 4 or Android and any mobile device that is. You can only add mods to Stardew Valley if it is a PC version. And of course, the Stardew Valley needs to be the full released original copy of Stardew Valley. It cannot be a downloaded or pirated version. It won't work. It needs to be a legit copy from Steam. Now let's get straight into it on how you add mods. The first thing I say and recommend on any of these kind of videos is always back up your save file before adding or removing mods because you may lose save files, they'll get corrupted, which has happened to me many times. So always back up your save files. I'll quickly show you how to do that just in case you don't know how to. On your desktop, at the search bar at the bottom, if you type in exactly what I've typed in, percent app data percent, bring up the file folder. Then if you go down and find Stardew Valley, you will see a folder here called saves and all you want to simply do is back this up by right clicking copy and then move this anywhere you want in a folder or even on the desktop like I'm going to do right now and this is your saves backed up you'll find all of your save files in there like so if you want to delete some or just save a certain one you can obviously get inside there and do as you please you can also back up by coming into steam find Stardew Valley in your library, right click and then press backup game files, make sure Stardew Valley is ticked, press next, choose the destination you want it to back up, Steam has a, a folder already called backups, you can choose that, press next, give it a name and then you can back it up that way as well. Now that your saves backed up, now that you understand what you need to do before you add mods, let's get into the next part which is adding Smappy. So on Google type in Smappy and at the top you'll see this here Smappy.io if you click on this the latest version will be at the top it says download Smappy 2.11.2 it might be different depending on when you're watching this video but the latest version will always be at the top if you press download and then I always click on direct download this will download obviously at the bottom here and once that's done, what I do is just drag that onto the desktop. This is my working area. Now, in order to access this, you need some kind of unzip tool to open it. I'll put a link down below. I'm using WinRAR. Then what you need to do is just extract it by holding right mouse click, let go, extract to the desktop. And then this is the folder. You can open it up. The installer is inside. You can do this internally or you can click on install on Windows. This little box will pop up and it will say do you want to install or uninstall, you press 1 or 2 and then enter. So because we are installing it, we'll press 1, then press enter. It will automatically do it, Smap is installed, it's gone into the folder it needs to be. Now for us to find this, what you need to do is go on to this PC, find your program files times 86, go into Steam and then go into Steam Apps, Common, find Stardew Valley. And here is your main Stardew Valley folder. As you can see, you should have all of these here before you even get into the main folders. And this is part of Smappy. You will have this application here, which is just Stardew Valley. That is the normal application. So if you want to load Stardew Valley up without mods, I recommend to launch this. But if you want to use the modding one, you will get this new application called Stardew Modding API. Now, in order for mods, mods to work, you need to launch this application. Now, you can change it through Steam, so when you open Stardew Valley up on Steam, it will open the modding version every single time, which means obviously you can get all of the mods, you can still get your record time saved, your playtime on Steam, and also achievements. And in order to do this, you want to right click on Steam in your library, go on to properties, and if you click on this thing here called set launch options, inside this box, find the location of where the modding API launcher were, where I've just told you. So it should be this on the screen right now, I'll put it up. If you copy and paste that into this box and press okay, I've already done it as you can see, 
It is a C program files 8 to 6, Steam, Steam apps, common, Stardew Valley, Stardew modern API. EXE and then put the percent command percent at the end. I'll put it on screen or in the description as well. Just copy that into there, press OK. Every time you launch Stardew Valley from Steam, you will get the modded version loaded up too. So that is Smappy installed. That is the heart of modding. You need Smappy in order to mod. That is, of course, if you want to add mods such as cheat menus, map extensions, new NPCs, and dialogues, and all that kind of stuff. If you want to obviously change the way things look, if you go into your content folder, you will get a list of animals, buildings, characters, and you'll get these little XMB files. You can find some retextured mods which are XMB files that you download, so if you want to change the way things look, for example, animals. When you download a mod that you like the looks of, you'll get a file which is exactly the same as what these are here, the same name, it'll be like a duck.xmb. You just copy and put that into here, paste it into, and it will replace the old vanilla file of the XMB with the new one. So that's how you change it. But most of the mods nowadays, recently, require a, a mod called Content Patcher, CP. So if you go into your mods folder rather than content, you'll see a lot of the mods that I use right here, they will say CP in front of them. That's because they need this, which is Content Patcher. So what you want to do is go onto Nexus Mods, type in Content Patcher, loads of mods, near enough all of them will, will require this. So I recommend to download this straight away. The only thing you need is Smappy for this to work. If you go into Files when you've typed it in and download the latest version, 1.92, just press Download. You will need to sign into an account on Nexus in order to download mods. It's just a, a little email address and password. And once you've download, downloaded Content Patcher, put it to your desktop just like we did with Smappy. You're going to want a zip tool to get into this. I'm using WinRAR, of course. Extract it to the desktop again. And then you want to go back into your folder where it said Mods. So Stardew Valley and then Mods. And you want to simply just open Content Patcher and inside will be this. So just drag the one you've just downloaded, Content Patcher, move it into your Stardew Valley Mods folder, move to Mods. Obviously mine's going to replace, yours will just add it straight to. And now we can download mods that will require Content Patcher. For example, I use this which is Flower Valley. Now this will add loads of blossom and flowers to your grass and trees. It looks very pretty. A lot of people have been asking what mod uh, I use to make my grass and trees look different. And it's this one right here. Actually mine's got an update so this is going to be perfect. So if you type in Flower Valley, as you can see it says the content patcher version of it. If you go into files and download the latest version, and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to drag that to the desktop. We're going to extract it with our tool. We're going to open that up and inside we're going to get CP Flower Valley. And all you want to simply do is go into your mods folder just like we did with Content Patcher and just drag that into there, move it to mods. Mine's going to replace because obviously it's updating. And that is Flower Valley added. As you can see, I have got new fish, scarecrows, seasonal village outfits. All these mods here that require CP will change the way things look. Now, if you want to add new things into the game, for example, new fruits and veggies and new maps and islands and all that kind of stuff, you're going to need JSON assets, which is another mod that you're going to use for a lot of things, which is here, JSON assets. So I'd recommend to download that one too, because it's going to be used for a lot of, lot of mods. So you just want to go into Nexus Mods again, type in JSON assets, it's right at the top here. Press files, get the latest version, manual download. We're going to do the same thing again, guys. It's simple. Drag it to the desktop, which is our working area. Extract it with the tool. Open it up inside, you will see JSON assets. We're going to open the Stardew Valley, then go into Mods folder and just drag that into there. Move to Mods, Mine's going to replace and update. And any mod that requires this, which like I said, it adds lots of new stuff to the game. So if you want some new fruits and veggies, you'll find them all on the Nexus mods. And then you're going to need that one for that as well. And that's as simple as it is, guys. I think we've gone through everything. Obviously, there's my mods that I've got in the game right now, as you can see on the screen. So if you want any of these, just type them in on Nexus mods. I'll link some of them down below. The cheats menu and the item spawner, you don't need anything other than Smappy to run those. So you just go into Nexus Mods, type in, for example, the item spawner. It is CJB item spawner. Files, download the latest version, do the same thing, drag it into your Stardew Valley Mods folder into here. And then that was going to load up straight away. If you go into the descriptions of all the mods, it will tell you what the requirements are and what you need to do. It's very simple. But that is how you mod. Stardew Valley. Let's load the game up and see if the Flower Valley is working and see if all of the things look different and I'll show you how that works. Now obviously I can launch it straight through Steam because I have set the um, 
the launch options to that. Every time you load Stardew Valley modding API up, which is the mod, you'll get this box here. Now this is going to be very useful to know which mods are working and which ones aren't, which ones need updating. It is very useful. So it's loading the game up right now. Smap is doing all of its stuff. As you can see, it's loading all of my mods. And if they're working, they will be white like that. If they need updating, as you can see, they will be purple at the bottom. I can update 14 of my mods, which is incredible. I've got a lot to update. You will get warning messages and errors if some of them aren't working. And these are the ones that are all loading up. So it's all working fine right now. Let's load up the game and let's see how it's looking. As you can see already, things look different. I've got different colors on the, um, the overlay and everything like that. So it's all working fine. It's all looking good. As you can see, we've got flower and stuff on the trees and in the grass. Things look different. Let's see if we've got the, cheat, the item spawner. Press I on the keyboard and here it is. CJB item spawner. Spawning whatever item you want. We've also got the cheats menu. That is how you mod Stardew Valley. Enjoy, have fun, go crazy. Mods make this game so much fun. As you can see, we've even got a tractor. It is awesome. Hopefully that was easy to understand. I tried to go through as much as possible. You know that you can't mod anything other than the PC version. I've told you to back up your saves before. You need to make sure you download Smappy before you mod and also Content Patcher and JSON Assets. Them two are gonna be used for near enough every mod that you download. It's gonna require those the most. It's as simple of just, you know, dragging things into the right folder. Make sure you keep up to date with Smappy. Always download the latest versions. Always update your mods as well. And yeah, I hope that worked okay. I hope it's working for you guys too. If there's any questions or something's not working, put it down in the comments and I will get back to every single one of you who are having problems and I'll try and help you as much as possible. But happy modding guys, happy farming. If you enjoyed the video and you found it useful and it did work for you, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here as well to see lots of Stardew Valley content. The new updates coming out soon, the 1.4. This tutorial will work with the same with that as well, hopefully. I will update that just in case it's differently. But be sure to see lots of Stardew Valley content come very soon. So hit that notification bell as well to stay tuned to see all of the new content that's coming i'll be showcasing it all off i'll be exploring it giving you guys a heads up of what the new stuff is doing some new gameplay oh look at the flower valley by the way everything's looking beautiful but thank you for watching guys that's all i've got time for until then i'll see you beautiful people on the next one stay safe stay awesome and peace